Welcome everyone to our first Phantom build. Phantom is another one of our cases, if it can be called a case. The idea behind it was to create a case which is a power board. So the case itself is actually made up of PCB components. The main layer has the 24 pin and 8 pin EPS integrated and you can see that it also has some direct 2.5 inch mounts. It's just an open rack. It's really like a showcase for the components. So for a phantom build, it comes down very much to component selection. There's a lot of mods that you could do, but yeah, the idea is very basic, pretty much. But in the end, when it's fully built, you can hardly see the case itself. It just kind of disappears in around the components. The case is assembled in layers as you attach the components so that you can access you know, different fasteners. And yes, it is high-end water cooling capable. I'm now installing a 480 millimeter radiator, which will go onto the back. You could also do air cooling or just an AIO. What I'd actually really like to do with a Phantom is a, a fully passively cooled system. I'm actually currently running as one of my personal builds, a Phantom. It has a, a passive power supply, but I'm still not running a passive CPU cooler. But that's definitely something I'd like to do and actually finish off the project properly. The customer didn't end up liking the 3090. Like it was something, he wanted a 4090, but he already had a 3090. So he sent me this and then it is too long, as you can see, and it made it just look completely unbalanced. So we ended up going for a 4090 because it's a lot shorter, at least than this 3090, which is actually quite a special one because it's an EVGA for the win. But you can see I'm having some problems here too with compatibility with the motherboard, the integrated M.2 heatsink hits the active backplate. Common problem with active backplates if you're horizontally mounting, compatibility can be a bit of an issue. I'm now installing the powerboard linking cables. So these come with the case. We actually have cables like this included with every powerboard and every case with a powerboard. Now this is a powerboard PSU cable set. So we also have this available, but it is custom. Like we have to custom build it for every power supply because every power supply pinout is different. I'm now installing a Proteum 3 combo at the top there. I didn't actually shoot much of the loop building for this, not much at all. I started out uh, with a parallel configuration, which I really wanted to do like full parallel, but it was just too many fittings just because of the layout of the components on this case. And you know, it looked too bulky and, and a bit ugly, so I ended up not doing it. Plus the customer wanted this heated stainless tube, so I've actually heated stainless steel tube with a, a blowtorch to like five or 600 degrees or something. And if you heat it different amounts in different places, you can get a lot of different colors. So you can see the tube kind of goes from golds to blues to purples. And yeah, this was one of the customer requests. I actually found this tube to be extremely unforgiving to work with. It's incredibly hard to cut. Stainless steel is a very hard material. It's really hard to chamfer. So I use some like big power tools for cutting and chamfering it. And it also like slices the O-rings big time if you go in on a slight angle. So you just have to be really careful with this stuff. So as you can see, we ended up swapping the GPU and this one is an Asus Tough 4090. It also has an active backplate. And we did a small mod to vertically mount the GPU. Phantom doesn't come with a vertical GPU mount, so we actually had to drill some holes in the power supply casing. And we mounted one of our vertical GPU brackets and a vertical GPU riser. It was a very easy mod to do. So this is actually quite a high-end build. It has a 13900KS, 1000 watt power supply. That's why we have the 480 millimeter radiator. It's kind of needed for this. These are very hot components, but the temps were really good because of the completely open design. And it's also a good amount of radiator capacity. It kind of looks like the radiator is very restricted, but it can pull plenty of air through the layers of Phantom. There are gaps between all of the layers.